So, you don't know how to do color correction. Where do you start? Well, first of all, you need to know how to shoot your video properly, because no matter how hard you try, you won't be able to color grade a poorly shot video. And secondly, you need to understand how basic tools of color correction work in editing program. And believe me, there is absolutely nothing complicated there, so let's figure out what is good and what is bad in a color correction process. What is the right way to film your footage for color grading? I'm gonna show you two scenarios. The first for those who don't want to sweat and wanna get a great result quickly, and the second for those who want to squeeze the maximum out of their video. Such a professional approach. In any case, the first thing you need to do is to set the right camera settings. But everyone's camera is different, and if you are not a professional videographer, filmmaker, you'll have less features for flexible color grading. And if you have a more expensive camera, you will have more features. But what's the main point? You need to make the initial image in camera as flat as possible. What do you mean flat? It means you lower contrast to minimum, saturation to minimum, and sharpness to minimum as well. And if you have a cheaper camera, you'll just have basic image profiles. You need to find the create a custom profile option and in the settings, lower the contrast, saturation, and sharpness. And if you have a more expensive camera that can produce a wider dynamic range and shoot at 10 bit 422 rather than 8 bit 420 like most cameras, then you should have profiles like S-Log if it's Sony, V-Log if it's Panasonic and so on. These profiles make the image as flat as possible, so they're designed so that you can color the video as flexibly as possible. Some cameras let you shoot in these profiles with 8 bit 420, but I wouldn't advise you to do it. And what is 10-bit, 8-bit, 422, 420, some kind of complicated math. If you want to achieve great color grading results, you should want 10-bit, 422 very badly, because it gives you more flexibility. But what's so special about that? These values tell us how our camera captures color. And most cameras capture 8-bit color, that means it captures 256 shades of red, 256 blue, and 256 green. That's 16 million possible combinations of colors. And at 10 bits, that 256 changes to 1024, making it 1 billion possible combinations. 422 is a slightly different way of looking at the camera's perception of color. It's called chroma subsampling. In simple words, it means that the camera does not need to capture the color of each individual pixel. And going back to the popular 420 combination, this tells us that each section of 8 pixels, 4 wide and too high, the camera reads only 2 pixels out of 4 in the top row, and 0 out of 4 in the bottom row, 0. And that's actually enough to make the color video you're watching right now. You just don't notice that missing color information. And what happens is that the camera redraws the rest of the pixels similar to what it captured. But when you record 422, the camera captures twice as much color information, that is, the bottom row is now not 0 pixels, but two out of four. And if we were shooting at 444, the camera would be capturing every single pixel. Here comes a simple conclusion. The 10-bit 422 is for guys who want to have a lot of color information and can have a lot of fun with color correction in the post. But having fun with video recorded with 8-bit 420 is a very limited pleasure. By turning up the color a bit more than usual, you will quickly notice a lot of unnecessary noise, those weird jumping garbage in the video. That's because the camera wasn't capturing enough color information. Hopefully that's clear, and if it's not, then re-watch this portion of the video again. So if you can shoot in 10-bit 422, then set a flat profile like S-Log, and if 8-bit 420, just lower the contrast, saturation, and sharpness. And why make the image flat, really? It usually sounds counterintuitive for beginners. The point is that if in camera we make the image as contrasty as possible and as close to the final version as possible, we just limit ourselves. That's literally. If you add a contrasty profile in camera, it will look approximately the same in the end. There is not much you can do with this. Why? Because things like white balance, shadows, and highlights are literally soldered into the image, especially if it's a regular 8-bit 420. And if you have a lot of black and white pixels 
rows and a bunch, you can grade them only with one color. And if you lower the contrast, that is make those black pixels more gray and the white pixels more gray as well, you increase the amount of detail. And even on a cheaper camera, this way you add some flexibility for yourself on the color correction stage. Also, of course, set the right white balance. You can choose one of the templates or take a white piece of paper and create the most accurate white balance for your environment. And what is also very important, set the light properly to create depth. Without depth, you will not be able to achieve great results, even with the most advanced color correction. I showed you the basic mistakes of filmmakers in the last video. And all the basic tools you need for simple and advanced color correction are in the Movavi Video Editor Plus. So go ahead and launch the app. And I want to remind you right away about the 85% discount on the Movavi Unlimited annual plan. It has all the tools for fast and high quality video editing as well. It has all the tools for fast and high quality video editing as well as many more applications. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing, photo retouching, screen recording apps, and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you the one year access to all the effects that the Movavi Effects Store has to offer. That means a huge collection of themed filters, transitions, intros, and even lots for advanced color correction is always at hand. Unlike professional software, Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users. Its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top of the line computer to make the platform run smoothly. So basically, Movavi Unlimited is what removes limits on your creativity. The one year subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. Drop the shots onto the timeline, go to the color adjustments tab and click manual. And since you and I have dropped down contrast, saturation and sharpness, we need to pull the values to a level that we'll be happy with. We go to the shadows and lower them until the dark areas become dark, as they say darker in the dark and lighter in the light. That is, find the darkest area in the shot and decrease shadows until it's really dark. But the main thing is not overdo it or you start to lose detail. Then go to highlights and increase them also to a realistic value. But again, not sacrificing the details. To bring back the saturation, look for the saturation slider and increase it to the desired level. This is actually quite subjective. And you should take into account that we've set the white balance correctly in camera. So temperature and tint sliders don't need to be adjusted. But if you've messed up, just have fun with these sliders. Now we have done color correction. That is just a realistic, beautiful video with all the details, but we haven't done the color grading yet. To add a grade, I suggest you to go to the third lot step and in general what exactly is this LUT. LUT stands for lookup table. Without going into the exact translation calculations, this is the mathematical process of turning one palette of colors into another. And yes, you guessed it right, people call it filters. But the cool thing is that you can create your own LUTs. For example, in the Movavi Video Editor Plus, you can find several built-in LUTs, from which you can add a certain style to the image. Here, by the way, the drama LUT creates a rich teal and orange style. If you want to edit this style, then go to the manual color correction and tweak the settings. Here I want to raise the shadows a little, shift the tint slightly and lower the saturation a little so that the result is not so vibrant. Remember that not all LUTs are perfect for your shot. Some will create real magic instantly and some are better to use as a starting point and play around with the settings. And you will mostly find LUTs in free formats, 3DL, Cube and look. But often Cube is suitable for many apps. Movavi Video Editor Plus supports Cube. To add a lot, just click on this plus sign on the right and select the desired lot from the computer. On the web, you can find many different lot packs. The main thing here is to choose what is right for you. In the Movavi Effects Store, there are several sets with lots, for example, this movie scene. After downloading, these lots will appear in the lot window 
obviously. And it's important to know that you can find grading LUTs as we have done now. You can find conversion LUTs that convert flat profile like S-Log to Rec. 709. And there are conversion and grading LUTs at the same time. So they convert Log to Rec. 709 and add some style to your image. And I found this LUT for my camera, which converts a flat S-Log free profile into Rec. 709, that is into natural colors with realistic contrast. And also this LUT adds a style as if it was shot on the Arri Alexa camera. My LUT works almost instantly because I found by trial and error what suits me perfectly. Sometimes you only need to modify the grade with manual color correction. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Check this video and this one and see you in the next one.